Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. There is a really nasty class of synthetic chemicals referred to as PFAS. They are used in coatings that are water, stain or grease resistant, as well as for non-stick surfaces in cookware. These chemicals are referred to as forever chemicals because they do not readily break down in the environment. They are building up in our ecosystems and bioaccumulating in the bodies of humans and animals. They contribute to obesity, cancer, and neurodevelopmental disorders, as well as being endocrine disruptors, meaning they contribute to infertility. Safety concerns about PFASs were covered up for decades by the chemical industry before the information became public. See the link in the description for the shocking cover-up behind Teflon. Non-stick cookware brands have sometimes replaced the older, dangerous PFAS forever chemicals with newer PFAS forever chemicals, for which, conveniently, no safety data yet exists. But do not be fooled, all Teflon-like non-stick cookware is toxic. The chemicals in them can end up in your food, but even if you think the non-stick coating on your cookware is fine, what happens when you're done with it? Well, it gets discarded. And that means, ultimately, it ends up leaching PFAS chemicals into the environment, the food chain, and the water supply. So here are some safer bets for your kitchen. For frying cast iron cookware, which will require seasoning, but it's not hard. If you want something lower hassle, then enameled cast iron would be an alternate. Looks pretty similar, as you can tell. For boiling, stainless steel, which should also be what you have in a slow cooker or a pressure cooker. And for baking and roasting, glass, such as Pyrex. In our household, we use all of these regularly, and they're all very easy to clean and maintain. They also tend to last a lot longer than non-stick cookware, and this is great as it reduces turnover, an essential step in helping the environment. Governments, whilst giving lip service to the huge problem of PFAS chemicals, do next to nothing in terms of solutions. They tend to recommend working with the industry and doing more research, which roughly translates to not bothering to do anything. But we all vote with our wallet and have the power to do our bit. Do not buy any more non-stick cookware. And whilst we're considering what's in our kitchens, don't buy plastic storage containers, use glass or ceramic instead. And don't chop on plastic chopping boards, use wood instead. I hope you found this information helpful. If so, please do subscribe to my channel as this helps spread the message. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.